All right, YouTube. So you guys asked for it, wanted it, and here you go. Here is my corner office slash part of my flex room down in my game room. So what we're going to do is just show off this corner. I would go into the rest of it over here, but it is currently a mess. I am not feeling the best, and I am also, yeah, on night shift, so I require this area to sleep in. But this is where I film most of my videos. You'll see my cat here momentarily. Most of my videos and have a lot of my collection at. So let's just jump into it right over here off to the side. Here's just kind of some various different things. Mostly my hat collection, like I'm wearing one right now. So this one, you know, we usually just kind of go like that. But we have the Xbox and the arcade and all the stuff down there. But let's just go over the cupboard quick. So down here is I have a thing somewhat for lunch boxes. So if I find old cool lunch boxes and stuff like that, I will put them aside, put them in here. So like I have a thermos up here that does not go with this one. I'm currently looking for the thermos for this one. And I'm looking for the lunchbox for that one. But here's my small GameCube collection. And right here we also have various, uh, we have two of the Game Boy, uh, what do I want to say, protective cases. So I have a nice little cool one like this. And then this really awesome Zelda one, which you'll see the what Game Boy this goes for here in a minute. But yeah, we got the Mario hat, the Ghostbusters 2 with thermos. And then the Ninja Turtles one, which I need a thermos for too. And just a Switch Joy-Con and a Switch box below. All right, moving over to here. Down here is my various books. And you know, a couple of rental cases and stuff like that that I keep down here. I'm gonna go, hopefully someday, I hope to make a kind of a cool little collection of rental cases. But as of right now, we just got a couple clear plastic clamshells. We have a mystery N64 game that I just like to keep around. It's actually Silicon Valley. Remember that because in the future I might be a giveaway showing that. And we have my two Switch games which I keep down here, which is Link's Awakening and Breath of the Wild so my son doesn't destroy them. But yeah, we got the Zelda Hyrule Historia and the Vault Dweller Survival Guide right there. And my small Sega Genesis collection right here. I don't have very many of the games, but I do have some really, like, the essentials. Now, Shaq Fu, obviously, is, and some of those are not essential, but those are from my childhood, so I hold on to them. And over here, we have a complete Mario Party, and then a Super Mario also is back there, but we also have a complete in box with a case, Pilot Wings, and Shining Force, and Shining Force 2. And a shelf above it, I have a nice little collection for Shadow of the Empire over there, so I have a toy, the soundtrack, and then I have it do in a rent, uh, a a repro case right there, but we have the Terminator, the NES box. I'm not gonna go over lit and explain literally everything, but I will just kinda, I know that's gonna take a lot longer. But these are some of my favorite things that I have over here. I have the repro boxes for these games, along with manuals for most of them, except Conquer so far, but I'm working on that. Up here we have a Dreamcast box with a game in it. We have a sweet little Pac-Man beer mug which a lot of these was given me to for christmas this was given to me by a subscriber and then we got you know mario in his underwear and mario just right there but then we also had peach taking her top off that was a gift from my wife i think last year for valentine's day and then just kind of going up on the wall over here a lot of this is ocarina of time themed stuff now that's one of my favorite zelda games but i also the hobby lobby near me for a while there was having a bunch of ocarina stuff popping up so You'll see some of the Zelda stuff coming from there. But this is the 3D box that I made. And then on top of it, just various Mario things. You'll see a lot of holes in my walls for me changing stuff all the time. And I'm a big Fallout fan, so there's my uh, Funko collection for them. And this kind of mess in here is just a bunch of various things. So I have, we'll go over some of the st key stuff that I love. That is my one of my favorite YouTubers, LA Beast. Uh, right back here we have the Master Sword along with the Light Up ma uh, Triforce, the Ocarina thing up here, and right here is a couple of my custom Game Boys. They look really smudgy. I need to clean them, but we have a Game Boy Color Pikachu edition, and then a Zelda Link's Awakening themed uh, original Game Boy that has a backlight. Both these have backlights, and then these are a lot of my favorite YouTubers that I have rental cases for. There's NES games in there. And we have a Final Fantasy VII D-Make. Also along with that we have 
This is a nice custom box for my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So it has 3D graphics and also protects the box in there. So originally the turtles were all red and this kind of changes the color up a little bit more to the arcade style along with, yeah, what the colors are supposed to be. And then here we have a Nintendo Power Glove that I actually got a few weeks ago and I had someone 3D print me a hand to hold it up so I could display it. And back here, on this, so onto here is my gaming energy drink collection so far, along with my one chip challenge thing just laying, laying there. And in the back of that, we have the my complete in box Nintendo collection. So I have, I have some pretty good titles back here. These, a lot of these came to me as rentals. They were originally purchased from a, a local store that went out of. Uh, that stopped running games so these were brought in and yeah a lot of them were in perfect shape so i put a, a slap the case and stuff on them and protect them and they're good to go now so let me just shove some of these back and keep the video going so now right down here we have a complete in box sega dreamcast dreamcast is out of it right now i'm an xbox sign and then we just have a boxed xbox 360 arcade down here we just have various Xbox 360 games, nothing in, like, mostly just the games I like to have. Now I don't play them as much, but they're cool just a bit. And then here is another one of those rental, this is, this is proof for the rental case. So this was for the arcade, and what you do is you you bring this up to the front, uh, you know, you bring the box up to the front and then they give you this with the game in it for the rental. And so this has how to play, what the buttons do, blah, 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 and talks about it. And when you're done, you just return the game with that. And this is an officially uh, Battletoads Overload CRTV that he sent me that Battletoads was beaten on. And it has the seal right here of approval that it has been beaten on there. And moving over to here, it's just kind of some random stuff. You'll see this. I've been trying to get some other things in here, but this was something cool I need to clean up a little bit more. And then I'm going to put it on the wall. But you could put your Super Nintendo games in here. And then you could use those things right there to just nail it to the wall. And then that way, yeah, you can hang your Nintendo 64 or your Super Nintendo games, and even regular Nintendo games, I think, up on the wall. And then just various VHSs back here for my favorite series. Uh, Indiana Jones, Star Wars, Bill and Ted. And then a random He-Man toy with uh, a Ninja Turtle on it, just because, why not? And going up here, we have a nice, cool, old-school Nintendo Power advertisement in the case. And then my small, Nintendo, or my small GameCube collection. You see a lot of titles in there are required ones you have to have for their essentials. Uh, we have some Dragon Balls down there. And then we have a Valentine's thing that my wife gave me, along with a one-up one mushroom, a Pac-Man thing, and then my Wii U collection over there. Not much to do there. Here we have my Final Fantasy with manual. I'm actually currently on the hunt for a box for that. A Game Genie along with a book for it. And then this is actually a cookie jar that I was just given by my wife for Valentine's Day. And then back here we just have some various regular Nintendo games that I do not have boxes and stuff for. And going up above that, we have my PS5 box, a PS3 box, a PS2 box, and an original Xbox. I don't, I do have an original PlayStation box too that I might bring over here to kind of keep them all together. And I am looking for a PS4 box. But what we missed up up here is we have a complete in box Illusion of Gaia along with a Batman mask that is signed by the voice of Batman in the Arkham series. I had this certificate of authenticity somewhere. I don't know if I stuck it to the back or... Oh good. Yeah, it's gone. So hopefully sometime I can find where that is. <laughs> uh, yep, yeah, and then we just have another 3D printed Game Boy that I made a while back, or 3D box, shadow box. And then up here we have my complete in box Final Fantasy 2. I keep this one really up because it's valuable. I don't want to risk my five year old getting a hold of it. Along with the Starlink, Star Fox piece. We have a six foot, uh, I think it's five to six foot Mario over here. Along with my small Wii collection. Like I said, not much. I didn't, I'm not a big fan of the Wii, but I got the, you know, <laughs> got some of the essentials, at least just Mario Kart and. Twilight Princess. And then just a couple more wall decals over here. Uh, I was gonna make these, turn these on beforehand for the the, uh, the video, but I forgot to, but 
We have Mortal Kombat 2 one up cabinet and a Pac Man uh, anniversary collection. And then we do have the Pac Man stool that goes with it. So my son was recently playing on the Mortal Kombat one, and he's a little shorter, so he uses the higher stool. We have another stool over here. And this is just some random stuff right here. I have my projector in the corner here. I have not hooked it up in a while, but it's been just sitting there. I have a nice cool ghost light up thing. And this is actually, I've been trying to find a way, I think I was gonna get this framed at one point, but this was a, oops, I dropped it. This was a, a Southeast Gaming, mag, or Southeast Game Exchange con shirt that was signed by many uh, great YouTubers and stuff that was given to me by Retro Reminiscence. And I've been trying to find a way to get it up on the wall. And then back there we have a uh, Back to Future 3 movie poster and a Terminator 2 one. Now those are actually uh, original movie posters from a movie theater. So they do have like front and side back. And I'm just, I've just been trying to find some room to put them. This freaking mess up here is all my extra cords, uh, controllers and stuff like that. I need to get, you know, a better organization system for them. But as of now, I just kind of throw them in there. These are drawings from my son, and then this one over here is actually just a drawing from a Instagrammer who, when he sent me something, he threw that in there, which is really cool. We have a cardboard cutout uh, advertisement for Paper Mario, and then I run a charity on the side called Snack Packs, which provides backpacks for foster kids that are transitioning in and out of foster care. So I have a, a pretty good collection of those going right now that I need to take in, but that's kind of where I've been putting them once I've been completing them. And then finally over here is where all the magic happens. This is where all the editing, the video footage and stuff. As you can see, I just finished a video now. And I was listening to some music while I did it by D9. And then we just have, yeah, we have my Fallout case down here. PC case that a lot of people love. Along with stickers from other YouTubers and stuff that when they send me, I put them on there. And there you have it, guys. You just have two monitors set up with camera and stuff and my mini consoles there. And my snow globe was set up with a mic stand. And that is about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment below what you think and what some of your favorite stuff was. And I hope to see you in the next video, guys. Thank you.